Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel! It's been months since I uploaded anything, and that's just due to both my moving to a new apartment, the mic not sounding as good, not having enough money to get a new mic, a uh, new job, being so stressed after work that I haven't wanted to touch my computer because I sit in this chair 11 hours a day for work, and after I'm done with work I don't want to be in this chair anymore. But I really felt like playing this game, and I'm starting recording again. I also got a notification from YouTube that I have 100 subscribers now, which is crazy to me. So thank you all for subscribing, that's so awesome. Um, I don't know, I, I would like to do something like, uh, like send people cards or postcards or something. That would be kind of cool. I'll think about that. Maybe I'll do that, like celebrate. Um, anyway, I was playing uh, Mist and Wolf Among Us before, but I this is one of the games that I played when I didn't have internet, and this is one of my it's become one of my favorite games other favorite games ever. It's so beautiful and it's so nice. It's a really feel good game, and I will warn you now that I did cry when I played it the first time. I haven't beat it because they added a a um they, they updated it. And so I don't actually know what the ending is. I can guess what it is, but this is an amazingly beautiful game. It's just really cute, and so I, want, I was like, "Oh, this would be fun to record," especially since I haven't recorded for a few months. I hope my mic sounds okay, also. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get on into Spiritfarer. I did play this, so I'm going to start a new game, single player. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Move my mouse off to the side. I finally have dual monitors so I can like look and make sure everything's recording. Is everything recording? Yes. It's been so long I forgot how to record. <laughs> I feel really awkward. Yeah, look at this cat in the corner. He's so cute. Oh look, we're so cute. Oh my goodness. I love the art style in this game. It's so precious. Um, when I was playing I took like 10,000 screenshots. So good. Hi. <sighs> so good. Ah, uh, finally. Oh no. What do I hit to go? Ah, uh, square, that's weird. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> the spirit bearer. My color looks so weird. Um, well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I am afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend with you here. What's his name? Daffodil! I forgot that's what his name was. I see. You two will share the burden then, and take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world, and that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. You can see why I ended up crying, <laughs> probably. <laughs> the big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. I love a game where, like, a book or a show or a movie that can make me cry, though, like, that means I'm really invested in the characters and the story, so... Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. I love this dude's voice. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you... Oh, the cat is so cute. <laughs> Daffodil. Oh, how highly inappropriate. Oh, cat. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. 
It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. animations and the art it's just so precious oh i hope you can't hear my neighbors they're right there hope is a flame the light that never falters the beacon of eternity it is heavy and inconvenient but there's no greater duty than this one the fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders look i was overwhelmed too at first just try to keep your focus take it one step at a time you will soon get used to this place, accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit bearer, after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. The music in this is fantastic as well. I love everything about this game. So good. I think I never completed the game because I was trying to get a hundred. I was trying to hundred percent it as well, and so I just never. I had to catch a bunch of fish and make a bunch of different recipes, I think. You'll see when I get my ship. It's really exciting. Let me try adjusting the light. Let's see if that makes me look less green. I don't know if that did anything. That makes it too dark. I'm stealing my boyfriend's ring light. <laughs> oh, it was so cute! I, I don't have any abilities. You get a couple of abilities um, when you do certain things in the game. One of them is double jump. Oh, yes. Oh, nope. Gotta get used to this. Hold up while jumping to climb through platforms. Can I jump on this? Oh, no, I know! Okay, wait, hang on. This is not my first video game. What's going on? I forgot. That's right. How do I talk? Uh, okay. How do I talk? Uh, what button is it? Stop. Press X. Oh, these are Xbox controls. What is X? Mm. Square. Stella! It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm. Mm. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Uh, it might not have been- it, it might not be that obvious after mm. all. It's me! Gwen. Good thing you found me. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit fairer. Mm -hmm. You are the one replacing Sharon. Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm -hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? Oh, I love my phone, it's so cute! So cute. Love it. Mm -hmm. That's the one! Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me on the deck over mm -hmm. there. I'll explain it all. Great. <laughs> I love the sound, it's so cute! I love it! I sit here? I can, I forgot. And the cat will come sit with me if he doesn't get stuck. He's stuck somewhere. How do I get up? Yes! So cute! It has been a while since I've played this game. How do I collect things? Um, okay, square is how I do things. That's weird. I played with keyboard and mouse last time. I know you want me to talk to you. I'm collecting cooking ingredients. Calm down. Alright. Nope. Did you go? There you go. I love the animations. They're so cute. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, here goes. 
Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. So you'll find spirits that you'll bring onto your boat. This is the premise of the game. And then you see their original forms or their true forms. I'm not exactly sure. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. That was it. Well, it's my theory, anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug. That's right, I forgot I can hug people. Best part of the game. Hug. So cute. Mm -hmm. I love... Mm -hmm. I love it. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Play with the light a bit more. It's such a weird color. It might be too bright. It's too bright. I don't know how to make it better. Okay, let's go over here. Oh no. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Oh, cat. I'm about to mess the lights, that's why I'm looking down this way. <laughs> or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Let's see. Does that make the lights better? Sort of, yeah. Cool. Makes this very bright. Let's turn that down. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his, j his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on an island on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go, open up the cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. I love it. Let's go. Press some button. I don't know what button that is. This one? Gosh, can I remap things? Uh... Oh, I can rebind things. Yes. Uh, yep. Can I make this also interact? Yes. Uh... Sure, inventory is white triangle? Sure. Okay. Great. Audio? Yes, all good. All good, all good. Yes, okay, perfect. Use X for everything. Yes, perfect. Alright, so. This is where we came from. This is the Everdoor. And let's go to Albert's shipyard. I love Albert. He's very, very cute. Stella! Mm -hmm. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm -hmm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Sharon, the Everdoor, the spirit fairs, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help to help you and try and make sense of it all. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave my by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this mm -hmm. ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. That's right. There's fishing. <laughs> Let's go fishing. It's very, very cute. So relaxing. Uh, hold A to reel. Got a shoe. Let's catch one more thing and then we can explore the ship. You can see the progress. Oh no, my face is covering it. You can't see the progress. I'm not sure. That might be a good place for my face cam or not. I'll leave it there for now. Yes, I caught a herring. Alright, so... This is the ship for now, huh? 
Yeah. And if you jump off the ship to, like, collect anything, like if there are shells on the side, then the ship just stops moving. It's quite clever. Oh, I didn't mean to go in there. Hi, wait, how do I jump? It's X. Should I make jump circle? Not sure. Oh, that's right. No, I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to go in here. Ha. A little sleeping bunk. Cute. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And here's Albert's shipyard. Excellent. Here we are. Now head down. Oh, okay. Just take screenshots of everything and see what becomes a thumbnail. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. So cute. I love the ever light just becomes whatever you need it to. It's very clever. It's almost seven. I'm drinking coffee. Must be a holiday. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spiritfarer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start the ship and bring it here after all. Mine was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha, <laughs> let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some, t some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. Weird. See, Sharon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a new, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Kitty. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You... Uh, you know we always joke about the construction here? Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades you'll will come at such a small price you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Sim simply direct me to upgrade Oh, simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Can I upgrade anything now? Welcome to my shipyard. Okay. Okay, so we can get the beginner blueprint station. Yeah, because that's nothing. Cool. And with that, we can build a guest house, garden, field, and a kitchen. Hobbyist, we need 400 orbs, maple, limestone. Okay, this is 1,200, and a mailbox is a bunch of items. Cool. All right, there you go. You'll be able to build and edit your building on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Cool. All right, let's go back and see our new baby. Finally. Good. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you? Mm -hmm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. F cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Oh, really? I didn't actually... Okay, I need a different button for jump. Let me rebind controls... Jump. Whoops. Okay. There. That feels very Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I think that's why I did it. Uh, how do I... Oh, no. Edit. Okay. Uh, salvage? Yes. <gasps> it got rid of... It's okay. Oh, so cute. I, I forgot I rebound my keys already. Okay. Mm -hmm. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. 
Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okay. So we can build... So this is a field, so we can start to grow things. A garden, a kitchen... Here's the guest house, let's build that for her. Should we build it here? I can build- up. Oh, that's right! No, let's keep it on the ground for now. It's a bit of a pain to have up in the air. Let's put it here for now. I can't build anything else. Can I? No, I need bright jelly lightning in a bottle. Other things. Okay. I can move stuff around later, too. So let's take a look at our new... It's very cute. You can sit down here. Sometimes you can sit with the spirits. Very nice. Look, there's a picture of me on the wall. I'm stuck. Here we go. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Now, at least, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Huh. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try, for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want to have- that's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using that blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. And there's only one way to get some. I... Mm -hmm. Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me it is always jellyfish. Yes, I am fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there's no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch uh, of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. I totally forgot, that's right. So good. Let's go. Okay, let's find a dark spot of pure fear. There it is. And these are like salvage places, is that right? Great. Resources, yeah. Cool. Let's get the jellies first. Oh yeah, that's right, I can go out. Shall we fish? Let's fish. <laughs> See if we can get some stuff to cook. Since we don't have anything really else to do right now. Later on you can get fields and stuff, and so you can like water the fields. And eventually fish get harder to fish. Depending on where you are, I think? Sometimes the, the fishing pole will turn red and you have to... You have to like, release so the line doesn't snap. Even though the line is... the Spirit, uh, spirit light? What is it called? Everlight. Ooh, shoe. <laughs> she looks so excited about her shoe. Oh yeah, the time changes too, I forgot. <sighs> so relaxing. I love this game so much. It's so cute. It's so wholesome. Alright, let's see what else there is. Seagull. Oh, that's not jump anymore. Okay. Maybe circle should be in her. <gasps> that's right. I'm so excited. I love it. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. Glimpses. That's a currency. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out there. Okay. Go ahead. I believe in you. Okay, circle. Gotta remember it's circle. Okay, so what we have to do is collect those. Those. Nope, these are the normal ones. The green ones are the ones that we want. Yeah. Okay, let's get up here so we can jump or drop if we need to. The music is so good. Oh, I wish I had double jump! Yes. 
Oh yeah, I just can't get some because I don't have a high enough spot. Give. Nope. Where are you coming from? Out here? Oops. <gasps> Green one, no, come back! Oh no, I fell down! Oh no! <laughs> I keep expecting double jump. Oh my gosh, there's so many! Oh no, come back! Come back! Yes, got you. I guess I can stay here, huh? Oh, that's a big one. tumbling and diving like a shooting star, and without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. Mm. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Mm. Slowly digesting myself. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Let's get up here and build a kitchen. I love how stuff moves so you can, like, build on top, but let's just... Here and actually, let's do this. The kitchen here, and this can go like that. There, cute. Kind of look like they go together. Nope, the roofs are different. Oops, I keep forgetting that's not jump anymore. Hmm. Lovely kitchen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. Mm. You could even try those loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Well, that's right, you have to make their happiness go up. So we can put in... I don't remember what she likes. Should we put in a fish? Let's put in a fish. What is a Y? Triangle? And you can see the timer here? Well, you see. Yes? Mm -hmm. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interests in all th in all things maritime will be helpful. Mm -hmm. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classic mythical challenges again. Mm -hmm. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Oh, the colors. Everything about this is so good. Okay, still waiting. Well, well. Alright, let's, um... Let's find a new place to go. I guess let's go here next. Start going there. We can't travel at night, so I think it will start stop. Stella! Mm -hmm. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. Mm -hmm. You here taking care of my final out taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so damn much about others. Mm -hmm. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Mm -hmm. We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm -hmm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. Oh. Alright. We got... Mm -hmm. grilled fish. I can smell it! I'm gonna cook some corn. Corn is fast. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Food? Mm. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. Oh, she's eating a cake. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Mm. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We eat a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. So everyone has a favorite food, and like, different degrees of kind of food that they like. Mm. As for me, I'm sure you'll remember that I've always loved comfort food, and that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky, I can eat anything. Mm -hmm. Just never the same thing twice. That's right. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give mm -hmm. you. 
I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an opal is a symbol of passage. I don't know if that's how that's pronounced. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. Uh, but something tells me you already knew that. That you knew that already. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprints tables, there is a field and a garden. Mm -hmm. Which means you can grow many different things. And turn this ship in into, into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. Linen in it. <laughs> which will turn into- which will turn- which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. Mm -hmm. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostin Cove, and there's something on it we need. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what- I'll tell you when we get there. Yeah, mm -hmm. Stella. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. <laughs> or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep, too, in that little cozy cabin. In that little cozy room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. You can see there's like a clock on the top right. Um, so only during the bell, the, yeah, the bell symbol one. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Okay, sweet. And we have... Did I put corn in? Popcorn? Yeah, popcorn. Okay, so we also... Wrong button. I didn't mean to hug my cat, but that's adorable and that's fine. Okay. These places, you can, yeah, dive. And why there's sparkles and you get like, special things. Oops, that was not quite on target, was it? Here. too? Yeah, that's right. Seeds? Coffee seeds? Yes. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Okay, copper ore. Um, let's do a little bit of fishing, I guess, while we're here. I'll just do a couple of fishing and then we'll go to bed. Well, let's just do one and then we'll go to bed. Then we can fish on our way to Mostine Cove, was it? Another uh, herring, perfect. I think herring might be the only thing we can catch in this area. I love my star-shaped hat, too. It's, everything about this game is ridiculously adorable. Alright. And it's been so long since I've recorded, it's so weird. I really missed it though, I really enjoyed doing this. I really love her clothes. Press LB to topple the clock? Oh. Oh, I like that on. Okay, let's wake up. And... there it is. Mostin Cove. Alright, let's go check on... Good, you. Good morning. Hug. Mm. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. So you can get their moods. Oh, that's right. So favorite food is black coffee. Likes comfort food. Dislikes. She's pretty happy. She's optimistic. Shops for fiber. Shops for thread. Uses the link. That's right. Different characters will do different things for you. Like some of them might help you water plants and stuff. All right, let's fish. Since we don't have anything else to do right now. Colors are so great. I love the clouds. It's just so cute. I love this. I love this game. Herring? Yeah. Let's do one more. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know if this is a good game to watch. Or I can just cut out like these travel in between, like I can just fish. <laughs> it's a lot of time spent on the boat. Which it becomes, I guess, better when there's more things to do, like watering plants and other people to talk to, because you'll get other spirits. 
another boot. Uh, I guess we could cook up a couple of fish. What did I get? Oh, turnips. Uh, let's cook two fish. I'm not sure what those columns are. I don't know if that means you're like in a new spot. Oh, am I gonna have to talk to it? Yes. Cute! Ah, oh, so cute. I love it. Alright. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. You gonna come in my boat with me? Do I need to wait for you? Why do you have six ears as well? A big poofy tail. It's also everything about this is good. And there are secrets that you can get. Like, oh, these. These are hidden things. Medium glen bottle. Can I get anything else here? Mm. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Yeah, any of these trees that glow? A cat. I forgot. And then, uh, the, yeah, they just come back pretty quickly after you. Pretty quickly after you cut them down. Congratulations! For you have become death, the destroyer, destroyer of worlds. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. You go ahead cutting down more trees. You go on ahead cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. I can also get berries. To feed people or cook? I love the animation, it's so cute. I like that they've made the game very relaxing and like not very high stakes. Because I don't mind games that have like. Can I do this yet? Um, I don't mind, like, games that have... Not punishment, but, like, if you do something, like... What is that called? If you do something wrong, then you get, like, punished for it. Stakes? I don't mind games that have stakes, but it's also nice to play just a game that's really relaxing. Look at the cat. I forgot how cute. That's so good. I think that's all there is to do here, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, I keep referencing stuff before. <laughs> it has been a while since I played. Do you wanna hug? Hmm? Oh, you do. Yeah, you wanna hug. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Feeling much better. You hungry? You got food? Small berries as a snack. Oh, this is comfort food. You want popcorn? You're not hungry, though. Do you want berries? How often do you need to eat? Can't eat fruit. Okay, do you want popcorn? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort food so damn much. Okay, you did want that. Let's go. Sweet. Um, let's see. Oh, she wants me to build a farm. That's right. Oh, there's a place over here. What a humming bee. Well, let's, let's wait to see what she says. I don't want to jump the gun. So let's build the field. Build field. Um, do I want a flat roof? I guess I don't have a choice. Let's do that, I guess, for now. Um, garden needs lightning in a bottle. So I couldn't have built that in there because I don't have that. A field. Wait, I wanted to edit. Can I move things? I can move that there. Okay, and then I can move that down and I can move there. That's better. Okay, that's better. I like that better. What is this? Okay, get that. Sorry, let me just cook a couple of berries. Cook. I think it makes... Does 
Cosmic Jam? I don't remember now. Mm -hmm. Huh, it's better looking than I thought. There is a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple, but elegant. Mm -hmm. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. Mm -hmm. But, you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. He has set up shop in Hummingbird, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founder of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run to the, into that cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird, mm -hmm. then. We just need to find some seeds for that field. I think I have some seeds already, but let's go to Hummingbird and meet Theodore. We can go get... We can go and get more jellyfish if we need. I think it's a random event, but it only happens in certain places. Um, Alright, let's head in here. I think I have some seeds. Yes, I have corn. I have another corn. And I have a coffee. And I can water things with my Everlight. So cute. So now we have another thing to do. Um, water that. And water that. Okay. I didn't mean to go in there. I keep hitting the wrong button to jump. Oh look, there's some more mussels. We can get those. And let's fish. See if there's anything different out here besides... What have we been catching? Herring? I think. Looks so pale. <laughs> I'm not so pale. Um. Nope. I meant to go. I meant to. I meant to jump down. I wanted those. Yeah. When Stella or Daffodil leaves the boat, it stops. There we go. Got empty shells. Perfect. And it starts up again. Perfect. Poached fruit, that's right. Okay. Um, should I make a radish? What is that? I don't remember. I think you can upgrade stuff later as well, so like, I think I can use more ingredients after some time. Alright, here we go. Our new town. Our next town. Hummingbird. It's so cute, I forgot what hummingbird is like. So nice. I've been doing a ton of um, art on my iPad lately. I bought an iPad because I couldn't bear to sit at my computer anymore. Um, and it was like my birthday present to myself. And I've been doing a ton of art on it. And every time I see this kind of paint, like stylized art, it makes me want to go draw it. We're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has, uh, has set up a shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. Okay, let's go. Oh. My muscles are done. I've been recording 47 minutes. That's crazy. This game is so good. I love it. Alright. Hi. I'm not here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. I might stumble on the rarest finds. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take a heavy weapon proficiency in the Mountain Gnome race, there's a, <laughs> a nifty synergy with a level 3 rogue ability Eviscerate. Wow, this is so d and I love it. I've been doing a lot of d and It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and an auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? Man. That's right, you can go into some houses and get these. Can I jump up here? I can. Is there anything hidden here? Doesn't look like it. Is this door locked? No. Do you have hidden jumps? Yes. Who seeds? Can I jump up here? There might be something hidden up there if I have like double jump. Hi. Can I talk to you? A stroll a day keeps the doctor away. Which reminds me, I haven't been to a doctor in forever. Oh no. Why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I'm not sick. I'm okay. <laughs> I love this game. 
Can I jump off the left side? Is there anything over here? Sometimes there's stuff hidden, like stuff you can dive down and get. Doesn't look like it. Okay, talk to you, talk to you. Oh! Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and the Everlight. Mm -hmm. I've heard this mo monument has powers to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Mm -hmm. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use those obols to activate it. But to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. Have I spoken with you? Hi. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm in a bit of a rush. Where's the two obols that you're talking about? Maybe just every one of them is two. Anything in here? No? Oh, I'm on somewhere. Okay. So, I can't get up there. Oh, there's a... Crowd in there. Yes? Oh, I thought you had something to say. <laughs> I think you can get up there once you have a, like, glide or double jump. Oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know? Your name is... Mary? Or Marguerite? Is Missy. Wait, no. Esh. Don't tell me, it's... Oh shoot. I'll get it. Someday. I simply adore your hat. Our local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage wares. Seeds, logs, rocks. <gasps> Look at the lights coming on. That's nice. I never noticed that. All useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Yes, my hat is pretty great. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing humming hummingbirds since forever. You've got the glims, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. I sell... Do I need shoes? I feel like I'm... I feel like everything I can't sell shoes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Key for hummingbird like an expensive bag Whoa, those are expensive seeds. I have 400. Jeez. What was that? Mm -hmm. Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Mm -hmm. People like you are the reason we have metal fingers. What? Madam, what's the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. My friend here is the new spirit fair. But she's not a newbie, and neither am I. Mm -hmm. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But I... I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Mm -hmm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses. Mm -hmm. Just fair prices. Mm -hmm. I... I... Mm -hmm. So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Mm -hmm. Got it? But... Yes! Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. <laughs> I'll even give you a discount. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. Mm -hmm. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanly high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Sheep. Upstairs crew forever! Hi, sheep. Okay. So that's 5,000 now. Okay, linen seeds. Let's get three of those. Let's get some coffee. Oh. And a carrot. And then I'm out of money. Very quickly. This is the one that's locked, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. No, I think I'm done here. I think I've talked to everyone, too. I can certainly talk to other people when I get back. Like, come back, so I'll have to come back here at some point. When I get my inhuman jump speed... Hmm. It's too dark to navigate, so that's fine. 
And are you sleeping? Are you are you okay? Are you hungry? I can't talk to you. You must be sleeping. <laughs> oh look, stuff needs water needs to be watered now. Um steamed shellfish. Don't be so shellfish. Um let's do one turnip and s oops, oops, I hit back instead of Okay, let's water these bad boys. And then maybe we could do some fishing until morning since it doesn't look like there's that long. Or maybe it'll be faster than I imagined. I think it's just... It's just uh, herring that you can get around here. So I don't know if it's worth fishing. The music is so great at night though. I love it. Old shoe. Did this go into my inventory? Do I have an inventory? Or is it just like ship inventory? Oh, maybe the night passes slower than I think. Maybe I will just go to bed. Herring. Alright, let's go to bed. And then I've been recording almost an hour, so I might stop after we get our next missions. So cute. I love the ship. It's, everything is so cozy about it. It's precious. I like how she stretches too. It looks so nice. It's just like, Ooh. oh wow, my shoulder's cracked. <laughs> I feel so old. Alright, let's wake up Stella. No, I'm Stella. Let's wake up Gwen. Do you have anything to say to me? Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water these plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as, limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit fairer, and the spirit fairers find spirits. And them. <laughs> yes, however, and help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you, and I bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Mm -hmm. So, let's sail. I don't remember. Are you hungry? Oh, well, I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. I have... I have this. Mm. Don't get me started on fruit. Oh, that's right, you don't like fruit at all. Mm. Thanks, I love it. Mm. Oh, you do like fish. Okay, wait. Do you want a hug? Mm. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. Okay. Mm. Alright, let's take this out of the oven so you'll stop dinging. Oh, grilled veg. Okay. Let's see. Let's get started. Am I going here? Am I going through the lightning? Can I go through the lightning? I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's water these. Ooh, coffee. I wish that's how coffee actually grew. I'd love to grow my own coffee. Alright, I think it's been an hour, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all for joining me in this episode of Spirit Fair. It's been forever since I re oh no, we're going to get into rain. I might have to stop in a minute. We'll pause it here. Excellent. Thank you all for joining me in this episode of Spirit Fair. I'm sorry it's been so long since I uploaded. Um, I, I don't know what my upload schedule is going to be just because when I sit in this chair for 11 hours, 10, 11 hours a day for work, it's the last thing I want to do is be in this chair after work. But I have missed playing games, I have missed uploading stuff, and I've missed talking to the small little community. Not so sm eh, small, it's growing, 100 people. That's still crazy. I still can't believe it. Um, anyway, let me know what you think of the game. Let me know of any other games you want to see. I'm not sure if I'll continue playing my old ones because it's been so long. I would like to continue Mist, I think. Um, but let me know if you want to see more of... I can't even remember what it's called. 
Wolf Among Us. Um, I tried recording Gods Will Be Watching before this and I couldn't get past the training level so I gave up on that and recorded this instead. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you again for joining me in this episode. Thank you for the 100 subscribers. That's crazy amazing. Um, I feel very blessed to be in this position. But um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode. I don't know, I might just record more of this immediately <laughs> because I'm enjoying playing it. So thank you again, and I'll see you in whatever, whatever comes next. Until then, bye.